Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. Numbers chapter 27. This is the Amplified Version. A Law of Inheritance. Then the five daughters of Delophiad, the son of Hefer, the son of Gilead, the son of Makur, the son of Manasseh, from the tribes of Manasseh, who was the son of Joseph, approached with the request. These are the names of his daughters, Mala, Noah, Hagla, Milcah, and Terzah. They stood before Moses, Eliezer the priest, the leaders, and all the congregation at the doorway of the tent of meeting, tabernacle, saying, Our father died in the wilderness. He was not among those who assembled together against the Lord in the company of Korah, but he died for his own sin, as did all those who rebelled at Kadesh and he had no sons. Why should the name of our father be removed from his family? Because he had no son. Give to us a possession, land, among our father's brothers. So Moses brought their case before the Lord. Then the Lord said to Moses, The request of the daughters of Zelophiad is justified. You shall certainly give them a possession as an inheritance among their father's brothers and you shall transfer their father's inheritance to them. Further, you shall say to the Israelites, if a man dies and has no son, you shall transfer his inheritance to his daughter. If a man has no daughter, then you shall give his inheritance to his brothers. If a man has no brothers, then you shall give his inheritance to his father's brothers. If his father has no brothers, then you shall give his inheritance to his nearest relative in his own family, and he shall take possession of it. It shall be a statute and ordinance to the Israelites, just as the Lord has commanded Moses. Then the Lord said to Moses, Go up to this mountain Nebo in the Abarim range, and look at the land I have given to the sons of Israel. When you have seen it, you too will be gathered to your people in death, just as Aaron your brother was gathered because in the wilderness of sin, during the strife of the congregation, you rebelled against my command to treat me as holy by following my instruction before their eyes at the water. These are the waters of Meribah in Kadesh in the wilderness of Zin. Joshua to succeed Moses. Then Moses spoke to the Lord saying, let the Lord, the God of the spirits of all flesh, appoint a man over the congregation who will go out and come in before them and will lead them out and bring them in so that the congregation of the Lord will not be a sheep without a shepherd. The Lord said to Moses, take Joshua, the son of Nun, a man in whom is the spirit and lay your hand on him and have him stand before Eliezer, the priest and before the whole congregation and give them a commission in their sight. You shall put some of your authority and honor on him so that all the congregation of the Israelites will obey him. He shall stand before Eliezer the priest who shall inquire before the Lord for him by the judgment, decision of the Urim. At Joshua's command, the people shall go out and at his command, they shall come in he and all the congregation of Israel with him. Moses did as the Lord commanded him. He took Joshua and had him stand before Eliezer the priest and the whole congregation. And Moses laid his hands on Joshua and commissioned him, just as the Lord had commanded through Moses. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.